finishes in the most spectacular there's currently no player 18 or younger in the top 100 of the ATP rankings. But next-gen ATP Italian sensation Yannick Sinner is on the cusp of breaking through. Incredibly, just five years ago, his main focus wasn't even tennis. When I was a little boy, I skied, um, because on our parts, the first sport is, of course, skiing. 2008, I won. 2012, I was second in Italy, but at the end, I, I don't know why I decided to play tennis, because I, I enjoyed it more. Then when I was uh, 12, 13, the coach of uh, Andrea Seppi saw me and he brought me to the Chialopiatti and I practiced there for, uh, yeah, till now and I'm, I'm very excited to, that I can practice there. In the beginning it was not easy, of course, you know, uh, leaving my home and of course uh, all the friends. I was lucky that I can live in a in a kind of family where uh, the father is, uh, is a coach in Riccardo Patti. He had all the family, he has his, uh, his wife, um, uh, one boy and one girl, one dog, so it's, it was very, let's say, friendship. World-renowned coach Riccardo Piatti, who worked with Novak Djokovic and currently coaches world number 15 Borna Choric, took Yannick into the bosom of his family and quickly realised he was working with a special talent. Yannick is a young kid coming. I working with him from four years when he came in my center. I like a lot because is my project is big project for me, and of course I put a lot of energy in him. And I think potentially is one he can come one of the best player in the world. Underlining this is how quickly Yannick has charged up the rankings. As recently as February 2018, he had no ATP ranking. Today, the 18-year-old is knocking on the door of the top 100 as its youngest player. His first of two ATP Challenger Tour titles so far this year came on home soil. On the court, I felt very good and I think I had the level uh, already before. Um, I just had to understand. Um, how I have to win against these guys, and uh, now I'm very excited that I can, that I could win this uh, this very good title in uh, Bergamo. 2019 also saw him earn his first ATP Masters 1000 win in Rome against the American Steve Johnson, but it was the loss that followed in the next round he appreciated the most. Winning against Johnson in the center court is a very good, very good feeling, and then of course after. Playing against Tsitsipas uh, for me was very special because I tried to, to, to understand the level he has and where I am staying and uh, that for me was maybe the most important part in, uh, in Rome. He's an old head on young shoulders, but what is it that Piatti likes most about his young prodigy? It's good serve, good return, and when he has possibility, he's immediately going to attack uh, the opponent. Uh, he's a player that uh, he likes to go to win the points. He's not expecting a uh, mistake to the other one. Yannick was handed a wild card to the next-gen ATP finals and is relishing the opportunity to play in Milan. If I qualify this year, it will mean that I played a very good season. So um, let's hope that I can, uh, that I can qualify this year and this year. Yannick is part of a renaissance in men's Italian tennis, with countrymen Fabio Fognini and Matteo Berrettini leading the charge. For Italy now, it's a big moment in tennis. Let's say there's a, a lot of movement, uh, even in 2021, the ATP Finals in Turin. So uh, I'm very excited to be part of this, and uh, I'm even excited that I can learn from them. And uh, yeah, let's see what will happen.